director to Condoleezza Rice, then deputy U.S. trade representative to Robert Zellick, where she worked on our current China trade policy. By the way, Alex, those things are airbrushed out of her wiki biography like they never happened. Then she goes on to work for Goldman Sachs. And it turns out that the, that the Cruises have a secret sweetheart loan from Goldman Sachs to finance his Senate race. And then Ted lies and says, no, no, the money to finance my Senate race came from my wife cashing out her retirement. But there was no cash out of her retirement. Turns out it's a loan. Now we, that, now we learn that Heidi Cruz is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, where she worked on some of their crazy lefty one world government schemes. Bottom line, I just don't trust Ted Cruz. I don't really believe that he's a conservative. I think he's a self-styled Trojan horse with a very short record as a conservative uh, to position him solely for this race. He is an insider acting like an outsider. So he could be the ultimate sleeper operative. I think he's the Canadian Manchurian candidate. He's in this race right now to draw votes from Donald Trump so that Donald Trump can fall to Marco Rubio. It's a one-two play. I, I'm sorry, I just don't be, buy the idea that uh, Ted Cruz is committed to well, the liberal agenda. He's committed to the CFR agenda, to the Goldman Sachs agenda. What do we do then? I mean, look, obviously we get your book, um, put that on screen, we sell it, we bought a bunch of them, they're selling out, InfoWarsStore.com. Jeb and the Bush crime family, it's now available, but we also have his book on the uh, Clinton's war on women. Give this to these women we talk to that say, I'm voting for her because she's a woman, period. It's going to be a war, folks, to get the information out. Uh, get out there, vote in these primaries, speak out. Trump is still the leader. But the brainwashing has gone into high gear. He's got to win New Hampshire big. you got to talk to folks in that state and just say, look, the whole establishment's against Trump. It's real. It's not rhetoric. The money's against him. You're idiots if you don't support Trump. It's so obvious. Some people, a minority of them, say, Alex, you never endorse candidates. You know, why are you just frothing over Trump? Look, I was invited to hang out with Bush when he was a governor and to be part of that stuff. I was invited by the Clintons early on. They could try to get everybody to be on their team. I didn't join Clinton because they invited me to go to some event that Clinton was going to be at when I was 23 years old. I, I, I'm not joining uh, you know, Trump because he came on my show. or what. It's because I see the whole system's against him. I mean, do people just need to understand that, that, that it's obvious this is going on? Let me lay this out for you. I really believe that Hillary Clinton can be defeated. But she cannot be defeated the way, say, John McCain took on Barack Obama, traveling all over the United States, talking about what a great guy and what a great senator Barack Obama was. To beat Hillary, you got to get right up in her grill. You have to you destroy her. Confront her with her role as an accessory after the fact in threatening and intimidating and bullying Bill's sexual assault victims. You have to get right up in her grill on her disastrous tenure as Secretary of State, where she is in essence functioned uh, as an operative for the Muslim Brotherhood, betraying our allies in the Middle East and setting up our enemies. And then lastly, you have to go after the epic corruption of the Clinton Foundation. Now, Donald Trump is uniquely positioned to do that. Why? Because he gave $125,000 to the Clinton Foundation, believing that he was giving to, to a charity. He didn't know they were going to Mr. Steal. Stone, I know you've got to go soon. 70-second break. Come back for five minutes and finish up if you can. Stay with us, folks. Second hour straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones. This is so important. The whole establishment's against Trump for real. So if you're against him, you're with the establishment. This is not rocket science, people. Ladies and gentlemen, if I was a sociopath or a psychopath, I would be trying to get Hillary Clinton elected. I would not be actually opposing her with everything I've got even risking my life and having top whistleblowers on routinely and having the Justice Department snooping around my life and the IRS harassing people. But I do it because I care about my family. And if Hillary got elected, that'll make talk radio and what libertarian conservatives do even bigger. But the country's going to die. There isn't much time left, just like that great article in Politico, you know, how Donald Trump did it, I think was the headline. And he was really planning, agonizing. It's got Roger Stone in it you know, uh, debating, you know, when he should get in the race, when he shouldn't. There he is, you know, really deciding, hey, I can't let him destroy this country. Does that mean Trump's perfect? No. The point is, he's not owned by them, and they're scared. And it just comes down to that. Uh, and I can tell you're really engaged in this as well, Mr. Stone. 
Uh, so closing points on what we do to make sure he wins and what we do to stop the dirty tricks, what we do to make sure he dominates so that he can destroy Hillary Clinton in the upcoming election. Yeah, I mean, sadly, if the party nominates uh, either Ted Cruz or Marco Rubio, neither one of them will engage Hillary on the issues in which she's engaged. You know, just weeks ago, she tried to play the gender card and Donald Trump jammed it right back down her throat. No, Hillary, you're not an advocate for women. You're an abuser of women. You have terrified and terrorized uh, and bullied women who have gotten in the way of your and your husband's rise to power. Only Trump will take that fight to her. The others will fold. Even Rand Paul, who I like, tossed this softball in the last debate, took a total pass, let it go right over the Softballs plate. are the way to lose. Notice when Trump hammered her with a, you don't want to go there, Hillary, with all your defending Bill the abuser. It's disgusting. That, that's his quote. She shut up so quick, and that bully put her tail between her legs. Yeah, no, and, and now she says she's not going to respond to any of these charges, which, by the way, won't work because I'm convinced that Hillary's victims, uh, very brave and courageous women like Juanita Broderick, Kathleen Willey, Sally Miller, uh, Paula Jones, you're going to see them all over television this fall if Donald Trump is the nominee. You're going to see them speaking out specifically about what happened to them at the hands of Bill and then at the hands of Hillary. Only Trump can spearhead an effort to take her on frontally. These other candidates, their job is to lose. And then the congressional Republicans go back to a cozy relationship That's right. with the Democratic uh, president, uh, and this country goes down the drain. And they blame the takeover agenda on the Democrats, which they've worked with. We've got a minute and a half left. I want to talk about both your books, InfoWarsStore.com, exposing the Bushes and the Clintons. Everybody's got to get these and get them out to the people you know that are undecided. But in closing, Predictions so far, if Trump continues on his course, how does this break out in uh, the upcoming uh, primaries uh, in New Hampshire, in South Carolina, and other areas? Well, here is the good news. Look, I've been a, a critic uh, of Trump's campaign in Iowa. I've also been the biggest booster of Trump's candidacy on television. You'll see me again this weekend on CNN with Mike Smirconish on Saturday morning. Uh, on uh, on Fox. Yeah, on why doesn't Sunday. Trump bring you back to head stuff up right now? My God, because every time he follows your strategy, he wins. Well, Trump is his own strategist, uh, and you really can't argue with it. He's gotten himself as far as he has. I frankly think I can do more good from the outside, appearing on programs like this and telling folks what's really going on. Sure, so tell us what happens in 60 seconds. Sorry. Very simple. Here's the good news. Donald Trump's organization in South Carolina is second to none. He has the very best people in the business there, and they know what they're doing. They are superbly well organized, uh, and they have de developed their own targeting and, and uh, voter profiling information. So if Trump can win New Hampshire, he is poised to win big in South Carolina, which I, by the way, predict will be a face-off with Marco Rubio, and Ted Cruz will be an afterthought. If he wins South Carolina, and he will, he is then poised to sweep the South and he will be the nominee. Whole new ball game. It will be the worst day in the life of Hillary and Bill Clinton. That's what they're saying. If he gets it, it's going to be a landslide. He'll take New York that, that, that Republicans don't normally get. Uh, wow, it's incredible. Thank you so much, Mr. Stone, for all you do. StoneZone.com. Find both his books there as well. Thank you, sir.